Hi, welcome back. Nana here. This time I'm going to start a new training on fusion procurement on 19th of October. So let me go on the share my screen and then show it to you. So this program will be for a period of approximately six weeks now. <clears throat> so let us go there and then go to my website, oraclenana.com slash PO. OracleNana.com is my main uh, website and then slash PO will now give you the PO one now. <coughs> so the one. So here, this training is on the fundamentals of efficient uh, procurement. So this is a safe harbor statement. And then uh, if you have a very big expectations, it is better that you go and then check the below agenda and then see whether it meets your needs or not. That is the first one. So the practice instance is not guaranteed actually. I'm unable to guarantee it. I will not try my level best to give you, but uh, the present time, the instances are getting referred every two or three days time. Let me try for a uh, instance which works for a longer time, but uh, there is no guarantee on this. <clears throat> and then I post my, uh, this thing, uh, the instances in the Telegram group. No, I'll now show you also that now. So what are the purpose? This economically priced training is now going to teach you fusion procurement on these six pillars actually namely procurement, self service procurement, sourcing, supplier portal, procurement contracts, and then supplier qualification. So these six pillars are going to be taught now. But after having undergone this training, you cannot say that you'll become an expert on this now. Fine, you will not be becoming a solution architect on this now, but you will know the fundamentals to a very good extent actually. In fact, my coverage, when you compare it to anybody in the world, <clears throat> they will not go to that depth actually. So my coverage is very depth. And then for this price, it's really a very good bit actually <clears throat> of 3000 rupees. So I can, uh, mainly it is meant for the beginners actually on the fusion procurement. So the prerequisite is what the inventory must be known to you. Even though certain part of the inventory will be taught to you, the basics, fine. I will not teach you the controls. I will not teach you the replenishments. I will not teach you the accuracy. Fine, likewise, what happens? So those topics will not be dealt at all. But the basics of inventory will be taught. So that what happens? You'll be in a position to create an item and then uh, use it in procurement, actually. So the time and start date is 7 30 a.m. India, 8 45. I have students right from across the globe, from San Francisco up to Kuala Lumpur. So to I found this time as the best time for everybody, actually. Fine. So uh, it's the one, fine. The San Francisco team. Uh, uh, will be basically has to rush back home fine, very soon at around 5 o'clock or 5.30 they have to leave and then uh, uh, evening they have to go there. And then uh, for the Malaysian team, uh, what happens, uh, they will be going to the office away. Uh, they will not just finish it off and then uh, go for office actually. Otherwise, uh, they will also be finding it very difficult to what happens to it. So to, and then the, it will be a very difficult time for the England team, England team. So those who are in England on the European area, they will be finding it very difficult actually. So it's Monday to Friday, and then now starting on 19th of October. It is likely to extend for approximately six weeks time, depending upon the duration interaction. If the interactions are more, it may even be more time. Now. So you'll be getting a lot of documents on this now. And then uh, you, it will be put on the Google Drive actually. And then uh, you can download it at your convenient time. And then there is a limit on the download actually. On 15th of December, I will now remove all the accesses so that you have to download everything before that. And then we will be conferencing on a Zoom for this training actually. It is of 75 minutes duration actually. And then we're doing it on a Zoom conferencing. So again, the fees is very economically priced. And then if you go there, the, you click on the payment details on the right top. If you go there, click on the payment details. <clears throat> so you'll now find uh, there are four banks I have now. So you can even uh, send the money to one of the banks, 3000 rupees. And then uh, send a screenshot to this mail ID. I will now receive it and then I'll make a check on the bank and then I will now confirm you that you're registered for the course. Uh, so, <clears throat> so this way uh, you can do it. And then you can also make a payment via Google Pay and then uh, send me a screenshot or otherwise PDM also. But Google Pay, if you are from outside, one guy uh, from uh, uh, somewhere in Africa made a payment and then uh, it is not, it didn't came at all. So Google Pay of other countries, you cannot use. You cannot use the Google Pay of US actually. So only Indian Google Pay, you can use. <clears throat> if it's from India, it's okay. Otherwise for other countries, it's not coming because of the restrictions of the corona and all. So they are not allowing us to, uh, what happens, the transfer money from one country to other country actually, within the country it will be okay. Paytm is okay. And then uh, there are other students, they are using Remitly and then Instagram, and then uh, this is a PayPal service, fine. Uh, Zoom is a PayPal service. 
uh, one of them you can use and then you can now trade it is approximately 48 dollars uh, including the commission actually 48 us dollars and then they'll be asking me my details and then you can provide these details to them when you are uh, whatever is registering it on the website actually and then you can even see my mobile notes of mobile so there are ways to make a payment now and then you will not get a lot of freebies spotting this training actually <clears throat> so if you click on it you'll be seeing a plenty of freebies you click on this button now blue button click on it so you can now see the first eight <clears throat> or bought and sold find bought and sold and then you know it's no given to you free for you i don't have any uh, documentation for this but uh, uh, these things are available there and then uh, these are my records actually. they they will be having documentation as well as this thing i am one of the best trainers in the world and then you will not find my e best coverage to a great a good extent it will not teach you from an implementation perspective and not from an end user perspective and then all these things will be approximately more than 100 gb in size and then uh, during the training you have to keep downloading every day and then uh, see that you have downloaded everything and this much is now given to you free for attending this economically priced training actually and then i am selling all my 18 module record uh, if you click on the link on the buy 18 module records for 10k i'm selling it now so uh, these are 11 modules of uh, this thing now thank you and then eight more seven modules of this so my main saleable modules are fusion inventory fusion procurement and then fusion order management the remaining i always give everything free for others now find whenever they buy it from me so but this pack uh, is available at uh, if you click on the payment details again you will now find the payment is uh, 10000 rupees and then same details are there fine approximately 150 i'm not sure it may be around 135 or 140 i think so go there and then you can now make a payment of 10k and then obtain everything and then you can make a self study on this one you can make a self study uh, and then do it now so this is on uh, what's called the payment now uh, and then uh, i will now close this now come to the main one so you can even check the agenda about whether it meets your needs or not the agenda has been pasted over here now i will be creating a complete enterprise structure for you you'll find right from uh, under the same information everything is there now so i will note the locations now i will note the legal address legal entity and then the legal entity has same information chart of accounts and then we will be creating the account values also over here now so this many account values we are going to say, uh, going to create now and then afterwards i'll note the ledger and then uh, complete the skeleton financial setups and then afterwards uh, jump into the business unit creation so once when the business unit is created then uh, we will be uh, doing other activities of acharya mas actually fine your jobs and positions will also be created actually fine and later on will be coming so we will now complete everything and then i will now do all these things now fine finally what about the no acharya mas activities of job departments positions and users now and then we will now associate the roles the users from a procurement perspective and then uh, we will now go there and then start the procurement setup sector so the procurement setup will now begin and then afterwards we will now go for the configure requisition business function and then procurement business function and then we will now wait now and then uh, finally <coughs> we will now go and then do the demonstration of approvals in six many ways actually auto approval approval by worker approval group job level supervisor level and position level approvals and then we will now come back and then see this now fine now how to populate the charge account using the transaction accounting definition now the tad and then the tab will be taught to you and then that will be giving you all the explanations of this now so and for different asset and expense item into asset and expense supplementaries how the charge account gets populated by how many ways the transaction accounting definition will be taught taught to you so that the tad and tab you can very well work upon on this now then afterwards after having completed all the requisitions i'll be going into jumping into supplier creation so this is the approvals which i'm going to set up now and then i will now create a prospective supplier and then afterwards uh, i will now create a normal supplier and then uh, convert the pro prospective supplier to spend authorized supplier and then uh, why the accrual, the purchase order will be failing because i have not given the accrual account in the uh, manage mapping set so that will be showing you and then finally i will now create the purchase order and then do it to you then uh, there are two with three ways of automation one is a pr cpa spo and then the pr bp spo as well as the touchless buying so these three automations will be taught to you then we will now come to the receiving and direct channel inspection will be taught and the corrections returns etc etc everything will be done and then i will now push the info information to the payables now so i will now set up the payables invoice options and then afterwards open the periods of gr and ap and then i will now create a er as invoice and then afterwards uh, the gr number will be uh, available on the invoice number so i will not teach you about how to do it now on debit memo not yes and then this is a basic level of a p2p push so that much it will be taught to you and then afterwards costing will be fully set up and then it will be demoed also for a for procurement transaction so with which we complete the first pillar of procurement which is the basic procurement then i will now come to the self service procurement 
I will not go on and create the categories, no, and then afterwards I will not create the other ones, no. Fine. So other items which are required for the demonstration, I will not get the BPA for the all uh, all the three items, and then I will not uh, a catalog administrator will be created. Fine. And through the catalog admin, I will be setting up all those things, no. Fine. Like catalog admin for the procurement, I will not make him as a procurement agent. I will not uh, create the catalog category hierarchy, which is a very important one as for self service procurement is concerned. Then the local catalogs for the stop and the stop will be created. Then the content zones will be created, information templates, and then the public shopping list, and then the news, everything will be done, and the manage sort not forms, and then the manage content template set. So these are all the up to content zones. Uh, what happens? Everything is a self service procurement setup, so fine. So everything will be completed. Then afterwards, uh, we'll now set up the requisition preferences and then create a requisition for this now. And then uh, we'll now see order ratio of a PO from approval. So we'll now see about how they are all getting populated for the uh, end person, and then it will be taught everything now, fine. Then afterwards, we'll now see the self service receiving, like uh, receive requisitions, correct receipts, and then so Then we'll now come to the second pillar. The third and fourth pillar are sourcing and supply portal, which what happens? I'll be adding a sourcing manager role to the first employee. So we will also, if you don't add this role, you will not be able to create a negotiation at all. Then the uh, the setups for this will be done now. And the procurement agent, other things, everything will be done now. And then afterwards, we will not create a single stage RFQ and then I will not demo it fully. Then afterwards, we will not go for a two-stage RFQ. So in a two-stage RFQ, how the commercial and technical bids are uh, unsealed, uh, sealed, and then from the sealing, we will not unseal it and then open it, everything. So all these things will be done now. Uh, <clears throat> so afterwards, uh, uh, will now come to the request for information now and then afterwards the reverse auction will be uh, done over there now so this is for the reverse auction about how the prices will be coming so with which we complete the sourcing and supply portal and then afterwards i will be adding the content for the procurement contracts and supply qualification very near to the start of the training actually so that will be appended over here now so it's a big training and then for three thousand uh, you are learning all the six pillars to a great extent actually so this is on it, and then uh, I will now add you to my what's called uh, my group also. Fine. So I will now add you so that you can even discuss amongst you actually. <clears throat> so if you see, uh, the 2020 batch of 20, I will not show you. So it's a <clears throat> fusion procurement, fine. fusion procurement October 20 batch. Uh, so we have already added those people now. So you can even see if you go there, click on the group info. So uh, till now, uh, we have around four guys who are paid for it now. Fine. There are four guys. And then I'm expecting uh, participants of uh, around 100 now. Fine. I'm going to give a cap now. Fine. I will be capping it at 100. So beyond which it become very difficult because since, since it's a low priced training, I'm expecting a lot now, a lot of people to register. So if you are really interested in uh, participating on this now, fine. I rush your thing because I may even limit it to 100. So if it goes beyond 100, uh, I may have to reimburse your money actually. So think about it on the design and then no program on earth will be covering at such a cheap price. You can even compare the prices other places now. Uh, you go there then. I will now have one uh, group here now. In this place, I normally used to share the instances actually. So you can now see uh, the instances are getting shared over uh, here. So these are the instances which I'm sharing it actually. So they are given by my students actually. So as and when they give it, I will be sharing it in this uh, telegram group now you have to send a test message to me is a private group and i'll be adding it over here now <clears throat> see one guy is asking so how long these instances will not stay without refresh normally it goes away in about uh, two or three days time right? it won't uh, work for a long time actually so uh, uh, here the, there is a problem i will during the training i will not try to provide you some uh, one week working instances but i'm not sure about it i have now asked my people so they are assuring me that they will be giving me uh, the one week working instances so that whatever at least for one week it will not be getting disturbed so you'll be added to the what's called my uh this group now <coughs> uh my uh, uh whatsapp group as well as my telegram group now find the whatsapp group plenty of interactions normally take now so take a decision fast and then join this training on this efficient procurement in which you'll be learning about six pillars now fine so i hope that uh, you will be getting benefited it's a very low cost and then uh, rush your uh, uh, what your payment so that uh, you won't miss the bus actually fine best wishes for a prosperous mm -hmm. career in tuition applications bye for now <laughs>